Hello everyone, this is Miss Angelina from Lavi School of English Language. I am an IELTS coach and a language trainer. And I'm live today to answer your questions related to your problems when you speak in English, when you read English, when you write English, or when you are listening to English. In particular, in this session, sorry, in particular, in this session, I will be teaching you how to paraphrase how to paraphrase for writing task one and this uh, task would be helpful for everyone as they would learn how to put synonyms at different places they would learn a lot of new words as well in particular this entire video will be dedicated to how you can paraphrase how you can paraphrase i have given my previous lessons on paraphrase already for two days, I've been teaching how to paraphrase. Paraphrase is a method of rephrasing or restating something in your own words without changing the meaning of it, right? There are two methods of paraphrasal. Method number one is where you just, uh, you know, replace certain words with their synonyms. And, and the second method is where you change the grammatical orientation or the sentence structure right and uh, today in this session I will teach you Farai is here Farai is saying long time I know that I'm gonna read the names of everyone but first let me get started and um, today first of all we're gonna start off with uh, some synonyms of show because later on I'm gonna give you guys an activity to perform right uh, related to paraphrasal and uh, your first word your first synonym of show is demonstrate demonstrate make sure all those people who are watching me right now and they want to improve on their pronunciation make sure that you stretch your facial muscles when you're pronouncing on your words right so uh sorry i have to fix my hair okay so uh okay sorry it's just a girly thing no matter you're an English teacher but there is a woman inside you who has to fix the hair okay see this here is not this strand of hair is not okay I have to fix it this way so that it doesn't get into my eye okay cool 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 so I hope you guys uh, honey saying that I love black you know just today because you know the weather is so so good in here I feel like uh, I'm I feel uh, I feel like tickled pink synonyms of happy by the way i feel exultant i feel exuberant i feel joyous i feel over the moon i feel like i'm walking on air i feel like i feel like i'm on top of the world and all these phrases that we learned for uh you know how to express your happiness so many people are in here and uh, Angelina learning a lot from you hope hope to improve uh, more and more uh, Pashtun is saying okay so um, uh, I'm sorry to speak a little bit okay I, I'm trying okay that was not for you guys I was just expressing myself of course I will slow down and right now we are going to learn the synonyms of show what the synonyms of show let's get started show 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 me show me the graph shows the chart shows the bar graph shows show you're a show off show show all right so uh understand it so the first word that we will use instead of uh you know show would be demonstrate what's what's this word demonstrate the graph demonstrates the graph demonstrates the next word is i'm sorry for the bad handwriting but it is exemplify exemplify e x e m p l i f y exemplify exemplify you can use this word for explaining something and saying that the graph exemplifies the graph exemplifies or 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 the writer the writer 
uh, exemplifies or the author or the narrator exemplifies, right? Or demonstrates. The next word that we have is illustrate. Illustrate. You can always use this word instead of um, the word show. That is illustrate. 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 So you can say the bar graph illustrates or the bar graph demonstrates or the pie chart demonstrates or or the condition illustrates or the situation these days exemplifies chaos the 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 the, the situation these days uh, demonstrates uh, demonstrates misery right and uh, the next word I really can't see it though what's the next word okay so the next word is display you can always use it instead of the word show so the word is display the graph displays or the letter displays the letter displays uh, the features of the the features of of a new mobile phone right anything like that uh, then the next one is uh, a, a number, number, uh, what is this one? Okay, I can't see it. Okay, it's represent. Okay, represent. Uh, okay, so um, this is represent, the last one. Represent. Represent. What's this word? Represent. Represent right all these words mean the same this means show this means show that the graph shows the graph demonstrates the graph shows the graph demonstrates the graph exemplifies the graph or the bar chart illustrates or the bar graph displays or the bar graph represents right and then we have the next one that is evidence Evidence, E V I D E N C E. Wrong. Uh, I don't. I don't think so. You guys can see the spelling well, but this is evidence. 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 The graph evidences or the situation evidences. Right. If it's a singular noun, then you will put an S with the form of verb. Like a graph is a singular, so you will say the graph shows or the graph demonstrates. You will put an S here, right? But if it's a plural noun, then you will go for the graphs demonstrate, the graphs exemplify, girls, girls demonstrate, boys exemplify, a girl demonstrates her dance moves, right? So that would be... Uh, this way if it's a singular noun or a plural noun i hope so you guys can understand the next one is elucidate elucidate e l u c i d a t e elucidate elucidate so the graph elucidates or the author elucidates but if it's about a plural noun where we carry two more than one right more than one noun then 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 you can call it um uh you can call it the writers the writers two writers so the writers elucidate uh unravel unravel the graph unravels the graph unravels the graph unravels the next word is illuminate illuminate actually means to light up or to or to explain right so that would be illuminates the graph illuminates the prominent features of how electricity is produced illuminates then the last word is very simple and that is explains if we have a singular noun then the girl explains her situation then if we have more than one then the girls explain their situation right let's repeat it all one more time because after that you have to paraphrase three sentences for me in the comment section right so the first word that we have is demonstrate what's the first word demonstrate demonstrate the next word is exemplify exemplify 
Repeat after me all those people who want to improve on their pronunciation and fluency. The first word is show and all these words are synonyms of the word show. They are the synonyms of the word show. They can be used in place of the word show. I hope that is clear. I'm just going to slow down and tell you guys one more time that these words are synonyms of the word show. You can always use these words to build up your vocabulary for the word show. That is a very, very basic word. Let's try to repeat these words one more time. Demonst demonstrate. Making that sound a little bit A in here and then calling it demons. Not demons. I have heard demons, but this is demons. Demons. Demonstrate. Demonstrate. Exemplify. Phi, not phi. I have heard this word as high. People pronounce it like high. So it's like not exemplify, but exemplify. I. Exemplify. Right? Then the next word is illustrate. Then again, making this A sound a little bit A and then calling it illustrate. 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 The next one is display. A. Just like A-Y. Any word that ends with A-Y, you would call it display or displays. Display. Display. Right? And dis play or displays making it a little bit uh, longer and calling it as display a's displays right even if you get like a uh, uh, words that would be rhyming day may gay bay tray say what did she say a y say Day, good day, um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and just that A-Y sound at the end. You just need to make it like a little bit curvy with your tongue, just like you say, play, A, A, not play, but play, play, making it like that. I think so, I have got lipstick on my teeth, never mind, <laughs> never mind, okay. This is also a huge issue with women that they get lipstick on their teeth or, you know, around the mouth and it's quite embarrassing. But I don't mind because, of course, I'm your teacher. All right. So the next one is... Mm, okay, I can't see it. Okay, the next one is represent. Represent. Uh, you can also pronounce this word as represent because R-E has... The same sound as ra or re, right? So the choice is yours. How you want to pronounce it. Do you want to call it represents or represents, right? The next word is evi, evidences, evidences. The next one is allu, allu, elucidate. Then again, making this one date, 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 elucidates elucidates the graph elucidates the next one is unravel unra ra not ra but ra unravel unravel right illuminate 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 not illuminate no illuminate Illuminate means to light up or to show or to bring into notice some kind of thing. That would be illuminate. Uh, this one is explains. Explains. All right. So uh, now it's time for you guys to get ready to paraphrase for me. And I hope so you guys are ready. So, 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 so. I'm going to start off with something quite easy and a very simple statement. So, first of all, let me know if you guys are ready. Katir is here, Emma is here, 
Akbar is here, Adil is here, Gudrant is here, Sadaf is here, uh, Rahila of course is here, Ali is here, um, Adil is here, Gul is here, Muhammad is here, and uh, um, Hani is here, Farah is of course in here, Safraz is here, Abid is here, Adil, Ziba is here, Abed number two, there are four to five Abids in here. We have Sakib in here watching me, Najib is here, Fai is here, and, uh, 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 um, okay, uh, we are ready. Okay, perfect, cool, 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 cool. All right, I hope so, I have to push it that way, no. Uh, all right, yeah. Uh, and I need my marker, I don't have, I can't have it, sorry. I need to underline this thing as well. Do I have a ball from the center? Oh, shit. It's a bad line. <laughs> okay, so um, the chart shows, I have underlined the word shows, local, you can underline the word local too, I don't really mind that because there are many synonyms for local as well, local government expenditure in 2010 and 2015, you need to have and there are two methods, as I told earlier. The first method is, you can also, okay, I'm underlining this as well. Because, of course, you can turn, uh, you can just convert, sorry. Okay, you can just convert this 2010 and 2015 into, uh, in the span of five years. You can just call it five years. The, the paraphrasal would be uh, in between five years or, or for, right? So for the span of, for the time span of, five years so i have underlined the words the ch the 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 chart the chart shows i have told you many synonyms for the word show local there are many synonyms for the word local as well you can call it local government and trust me this word is so mispronounced in the subcontinent and i'm just going to pronounce this word for you and teach you that how simple how simple the pronunciation of this word is, right? That is like G. If, if I could see it, right? G, V, and then M, E. Sorry, it's so hard to write like this. M, E, N, T. I hope so you guys are amazing and you can understand. C. It's very hard for people to pronounce the word government and it's as simple as it could get. Gava, gava, meant. Government. When you say it together, it's government. Government, right? So, please correct your pronunciation and, 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 and if it's the first time that you got to know the correct pronunciation, please type in the comment section for me because I have heard this like... 80% of the people from the uh, from the subcontinent they have a wrong pronunciation of the word government right gover government 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 okay so expenditure is of course uh, the money spent on something local you can use uh, many synonyms domestic as well and in 2010 and 2015, of course, you can paraphrase it in the span of five years or during the span of five years or however you want to paraphrase it. Um, okay, sorry. Yeah, so because you know what people do? People try to pronounce this N in here and that will, they would call it like government. No, you don't. Like, it's quite simple, like government. It's very simple to pronounce and it's quite easy to say it, right? So, government, very simple. British government, uh, Pakistani government, 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 government. Five-year government expenditures are. So, you have to see, say it this way. This is a word too. Chart means graph. Use this word as well. Just think that there is a graph in here and the graph... The graph shows, the graph shows local, shows local government expenditure in 2010 and 2015. Farah is saying, I heard it for the first time. Yes, I'm one of those. No, not a problem. Now you know. 
This chart tells about the national spending in tenure of five years. Adnan, not bad at all. We are still missing. We are still missing. A uh, not bad at all. I like it. I like it. Adnan's uh, tells. Adnan has used like a very simple synonym of show. That is tells. Very simple. Uh, about the uh, national spending, uh, he has used the word like local government is like. Uh, I still don't find national as local, but that's still fine. That's still fine because uh, I get it. I get you. National national uh, spending, he has used it perfectly. So by far, we're going to clap for this man who is Adnan Gill. And I want to clap for you. That was the best paraphrase by far. Okay, Safir is here. Uh, Akbar is saying the chart illustrates the domestic officials between no 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 officials is not no the re the rest of it sounds fine but not the officials word no Emma is saying the chart illuminates or illuminates domestic governments uh government expenditure in you can change the word uh you know expenditure to spendings right in the span of five years not bad Emma very good try please show it differently Sh please show it differently how am I supposed to show it differently I don't know I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, m uh, the chart illustrates domestic government, um, government circulation in between, uh, domestic government uh, circulation. No. Expenditure. Go for the word expenditure. That is a very close, uh, you know, synonym of. Uh, you can also use the word. Uh, spending or expenses you can just go for amount spent as well amount spent or or, or f amount spent by the government you can just look by the local government or by the domestic government right you can just turn it that way as well seven Nick is here Hadad is here Kana is here uh, the chart manifests oh my god my oh my god Oh my god, I'm giving you kisses because you have used the word manifest and I think so that many people in here do not know the word. So all those people who are watching right now get to know that manifest is a synonym of show as well. That is M-A-N-I-F-E-S-T-S. -S. Uh, district administration um, outlay. No, beautiful. I don't get that. No, no, no. Half of it is not okay, but that word manifest was like really cool. Okay, RM is saying that the 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 chart uh, elucidates local governments, government expenditure over five years. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Not a problem. Adil is saying that the graph depicts five years uh, budget of domestic government. Hey, man, that's better. That's a lot better. Not bad at all. Adil amazing slow claps for Adel. of course i need to clap perfect amazing okay uh the chart illuminates local government's budget then put an apostrophe there because government's apostrophe s budget for the year 2020 not bad at all not bad at all uh, Parkash is saying that Muhammad is saying that in the chart there is a demonstration of local administration spending from 2010 to 2015 oh my god omg amazing okay akbari is saying that the graph uh illustrates amazing uh, muhammad i just clapped for you you're amazing akbari is saying the graph illustrates the domestic government government uh spent government spent budget or budget spent by the government i think so you should change it that way for the uh, year of 2010 and 2015, for sure, can I say disbursement? Disbursement is like distribution or something that is government um, disbursement. Uh, um, disbursement of what? Then we we need a noun as well. So then it would it it won't be an okay one if you're gonna go for disbursement. Okay, I'm I'm gonna try to use it. Try to use it with a noun and then let me see. Okay, so uh, the, the, the chart illuminates about five-year time period 
Mm, domestic governments paying. Hey, there's a word who has. Uh, so, sorry, there's a person who has used the word payments, but you know, making sure that spending is like the amount spent or, uh, um, you know, expenses or expenses or 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 or. You know, there was another word somebody used that was spendings, right? So, definitely. Okay, the graph depicts five years. Adil uh, is saying again. Abu is here. Uh, Ali is saying that the schedule depicts uh, the the domestic government's spending during... Hey, put an apostrophe S in there. Besides that, perfect. Sayed is saying that five years of the outlay of um, um, municipal... Municipal? I uh, think so. Mm, government by the, the by this chart. Sayed, not bad at all. You have used a good word for local. Okay, great is local. Um, okay, okay. Umehani is saying government outlay for five years it dem is demonstrated by the chart. Farah is saying the chart exemplifies the domestic government government prizes. Uh, prizes. Mm -mm. No, for our prizes won't be right but thank you so much for trying everyone and all those people who have just tuned in please subscribe to my youtube channel i have mentioned the link in the description box and let me know if you have subscribed i'm gonna read your name in the comment section if you're going to subscribe to the channel okay are you guys ready for the next statement i hope so you are kesser is in here and uh we are going to have another statement that you'd be paraphrasing for me and i hope so you guys are ready i hope so you guys are ready okay so ready 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 i hope so you are ready so here goes nothing uh the chart is showing local governments uh a government expenditure of of two years nope not bad not bad five years budgetary plan no is displayed by the domestic government maybe maybe not bad I'll, I'll, I'll accept that yes ready 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 okay the next one is quite simple the chart shows the places visited I'm just gonna underline the word visited 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 by different I'm gonna underline the word different as well Okay, got it. Uh, Alright, so here we have another statement that says the chart shows the chart shows the places visited by visited. I have underlined the word shows. I have underlined the word, uh, word visited. I have underlined the word different and I have underlined the word living. And uh, for all those people who are watching right now, we can practice our phonetics and our pronunciation on the same kind of uh, sentences that we are learning to paraphrase uh, the chart cha a a drop in your tongue for the british accent or for the rp pronunciation that is like your standardized pronunciation we call it rp i will not call it british accent because then there would be some people who would say that oh my god this is not the street style then i have to tell them this is rp that is received pronunciation so chart chart shows shows the play play places places visited 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 by different different people oh my god i have to correct your pronunciation of the word people for sure let me draw a heart in here because I could, oh, that doesn't look like a heart. Okay, sorry. I'm just gonna try to draw a heart in here. In the meantime, you guys can paraphrase. Okay, this is the best that I could do. People, I have heard the pronunciation people. Trust me, for sure. I have heard that. P, making that P, people, people. People of my country are amazing. People like you some people like you some people dislike you so don't care about people don't care what people say do what you want to do people say a lot some people like you some people dislike you and today I want to tell you guys something 
what I feel about people. Trust me, if I'm here, sitting in here, interacting with you guys, I've made my YouTube channel, I'm helping people around, I'm an English coach, I, I love people, I try to be myself, that's just because I never cared what people will say. What people say, I do not care, right? So, this is a success formula for anyone who wants to be successful and who wants to do anything, who wants to do anything that that person wants to chase in life. It's a dream, it's a goal. Do not take social pressure. Either it's cultural pressure, you know, pressure of your gender, pressure of your, you know, I don't know, religious pressure or like any kind of pressure. Do not take pressure and you need to, you need to not care what people say. You need not to care what others think about you, you know. So you definitely, definitely, if you want to be successful, this is very, very important to learn that, you know, people, they talk and you don't care, right? And uh, I just want to share one more thing with you guys that normally what happens people on social media like um, I'm on social media as well. There are some people who like me. There are some people who do not like me at all at all. I mean, they detest me. They don't really like me at all. Right. So there there is something that I learned and that is a Buddhist teaching that when when somebody praises you a lot, when some really really praises you what you need to do at that time you need to think that oh there are some people who dislike me as well so that you can keep a balance in your emotions because if you're too excited or if you're like too too like you, you lose your mind and at that point you can't think rationally and if somebody really criticizes you and hates you and that person is full of hatefulness, at that point, just remember that there are some people who love me as well, right? So at that point, you can balance your own emotions, right? Rather than being like, okay, there are some people who just like like me or there are some people who dislike me, right? So keeping a balance uh, of your emotions. But at the end, reaching this conclusion that what people say, it doesn't really matter. What you need to do, you need to do it. And you need to do it relentlessly, without stopping, every single day. If you have set a goal, you need to pursue your goal every single bloody day. Without giving yourself, you know, the space to be lazy or to, or to find excuses for yourself that, oh, today I, I'm not in a mood to do it. Oh, today I don't want to do it. No, not like that. You have to have to be consistent right and so many people have answered for this one that is the chart shows the places visited by different people living in uh, Canada right so we're gonna read uh, the first uh, the last comment by Farah first Farah says that the chart describes Farah the chart describes you have to put an S here because uh, of course chart is a singular noun so you will put an S here Sorry, see, I have to fix my hair too. This is the woman inside me. Okay, so, um, all right, so where was I? I was, I was, I was talking about, uh, I was talking about what? Yes, Farah's comments that Farah, you need to put an S here, okay? The chart describes the places explored by various people breathing in Canada. <gasps> no, breathing in Canada is not okay, Farah, no. Breathing in Canada is not okay. You can use the word residing in Canada. Okay, so uh, the mirror is saying the chart illustrates places watching by no... Mm, watching by no... By various people serving in Canada. No, living is residing in Ca Canada or residents of Canada. You can just go for residents of Canada, right? And of course, you're not using the correct words for visited as well. Canadian people, you can also say that. Canadians who have been to, right? Been, have been to, to certain places. 
Uh, MD is saying your speaking is very low. That's why uh, hair is no watching member. Okay, all right. So hair is a hater. Okay, so Hani is saying my chart elucidates the places uh, toured by several people staying in Canada. Not bad at all, Hani. I understand. That's beautiful. Tarek is saying that Myra is saying that uh, the charts uh, manifest the charts. The charts, if it's like more than, see, Myra, there's a mistake in here. The charts manifest. The chart manifests. If it's a singular, then you'll put an S. If it's a plural, then you will not put an S. And the place is explored by, the place is explored, ED, by divergent, means various, and um, uh, people uh people living in canada okay uh shahad is saying that um uh the the chart describes different people who travel to canada not bad at all that 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 sounded really good okay uh, Shah, uh Shahad, that's that was not bad at all the places explored by the by various people residing in Canada is given in the chart. Not bad, not bad, Muhammad. Great. Adil is saying the graph reflects places visited by local residents of Canada. Amazing, amazing. Okay, Adil is saying beautiful heart. Okay, Abu is saying the the given chart outlays for the territory government's financial include okay this is a previous one okay so uh akbar is saying the chart shows the place visited by different people living in canada not bad at all mirror just saying that in the chart the chart manifests domestic oh, sorry this is the previous one we need to move to the next one uh okay 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 myra is saying uh this is a woman inside me <laughs> of course of course you are a human but then at the end of the day you feel like you know girly as well that you know girls have to fix their hair or you know look good and smile in pictures and uh that's the thing okay so uh oh my god i there are so many messages okay and all those people who have just tuned in please subscribe to my youtube channel that is lavi school of language i have mentioned the link in the description box Janet is saying hi miss uh the chart depicts the information about the number of tourists in canada not at all not at all wrong good to hear you talking about emotions and I can definitely talk about emotions, guys. I'm not a robot. I'm a human. All right. Agri is saying the chart illustrates the scene area by... You no. Know, you know, you can use the word... You know, if you want to say that I visited Canada, you can say I have been to Canada. I have been to Canada. So you can use visited in the sense of like who have been to. People who have been to. Who have been to Canada, who have been to different places in Canada. You can use it that way as well. Uh, okay, Salman is saying that market for emotions and feelings, so uh, and feelings and just display your attitude. Miss Angelina is great. Oh, I love you guys. You know, some of you guys are like so cute and sweet, you know, just awesome. Okay, Kine is saying that people visited different places. Who live who live in Canada shown in the chart Kine good try man but it's not a good paraphrase we need to make little changes to the sentence by saying that um, it's not a good one you can read different comments in the uh, you know comment section people have written beautiful beautiful paraphrase of this Muhammad is saying the place is explored by the various people residing the chart depicts information Parkash is here G G Gajranth is saying that the chart depicts the information about the uh, about the locations explored by Canadian citizens. Not bad, not bad. Okay, the chart illuminates the places explored by various people uh, residing in Canada. Not bad, not bad. Uh, okay, Akbar is saying that the chart shows places. Uh, those are explored by people settled in Canada. Mm, okay, not bad. Okay. Sayed is saying that the chart, uh, the chart views the place drop. No, Leo is saying the chart indicates. Very good word used by Leo. Leo has used the word uh, indicates, right? Indicates is not a bad word. Government, um, sorry, it's a previous one. Hi, ma'am. Hello. What is the difference between since and for? Like uh, right now in here, uh, for me, 
in your gr grammar rules you would say that since and for a lot of different blah 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 you know so um you know you can use it i've been waiting for you for 10 minutes or i've been waiting for you since 10 minutes it's pretty much the same it doesn't make a difference Okay, what's the topic for today? We have talked about paraphrasal and I have given them a lot of statements. So who's ready for the last statement for today? And of course, after that, I'd be leaving. Uh, I'm going to tell you, uh, I told you guys synonyms of shows. We talked about a lot of synonyms for the word visited, right? We've talked about a lot of uh, people use the word various, people use the word uh divergent i think so myra used that word uh, uh there are so many words several several is a word as well several 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 right living we talked about the word you know people residing in canada or residents of canada or citizens of canada or canadians in particular you know and um since is used in sentences when you know uh okay um uh, miss i i can't see the sentence completely if you could move a bit yes of course i can of course i can of course i can but i'm i'm gonna move to my next sentence all right mm, uh, i have just joined what's the topic for today we are uh, uh sajad we are just paraphrasing and i have taught them yes sorry yes Yes, divergent is a very different word. Absolutely right. You say it, you're right. Divergent means to move away for something, right? You're right. So, uh, divergent definitely means to move away for something. Divert. Divert means to move away. You're right, say it. You're absolutely right. Uh, okay, so, but we are talking about various, several, and many, and different, and there was one more word that was used by someone. I forgot that word. Thank you so much, Sayat, for correcting. Okay, uh, Nayam is saying, uh, um, this is the chart that is being shown and the traveling places by the different people to Canada. Uh, the, the chart indicates uh, places visited by residents of Canada. Not bad at all. Are you guys ready for the last statement for today? Who's ready? Who's ready? It's quite long though, but I hope so you guys can manage. If you're ready, if you're ready, let me know. If you are ready, let me know. Hey, 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 I just want to correct this one because Myra, it's not divergent, it would be diverse. D I V E R S E. Diverse. Diverse also means the same, like different. Okay. Um, the graph shows the impact of vaccinations on the incidence of, sorry, impact of incidence. I cannot read it. Okay. The graph shows the impact of vaccinations on the incidence on the incidence of whooping cough whooping cough don't try to find a synonym of this and please learn this rule in your um uh learn this rule in your um paraphrase that you know there are certain nouns don't try to fi find the synonyms of those because of course if you will whoop in, whoop in cough, you cannot get a synonym of this. This is just a noun. Just keep it that way. Whoop in cough, right? So you just keep it this way. So the, the, the graph shows the impact of, the impact of vaccination. Don't try to change this one as well. Because of course, this is also the main noun. Don't try to change this one. Vaccinations. The vaccinations on the incidence of. Incidence is something that happens on... Uh, and for this one, you can go for a synonym of a uh, whooping cough, whooping cough, um, a, a childhood illness, a childhood illness. You can go for synonyms for the word illness as well, right? And uh, between 19, 9, 1940 and 1990 in Britain. 
So this is your uh, next statement and probably your um, last statement for today for paraphrase. And this statement is that the graph shows the impact of vaccinations on the incidence of whooping cough, a childhood illness between 1940 and 1990 in Britain, right? And I hope so you guys can read it and you don't really have to see my face. Okay. Hey, I want to play a game with you after this. That, that game is called Kiss or Slap. So I would ask you that as a watcher or as a viewer, would you give me a kiss or would you give me a slap, right? And you have to type in the comment section for me. It's a game that's called Kiss, and Sla kiss or Slap. And of course, I cannot play it in the COVID-19 with people around. But of course, I can ask you guys about it. We will play it later once you have to, you know, uh, answer this for me. Okay, Kine is saying the vaccination's effect on whooping cough which childhood illness during... No. Kine, good try, but not okay. Man, use these, use these words as well, like the graph shows. The graph shows, the graph demonstrates the the impact for impact there are so many synonyms that you can use usman is here usman hey usama no what is man usama you're here i love you so much you're amazing okay so here's a statement that you have to paraphrase and there are two ways of paraphrasing this you have to put the synonyms of the words in here and uh, you uh, can paraphrase it by changing the grammatical orientation of the word as well. And um, uh, Osama, this is your statement. The graph shows the impact of vaccinations on the incidence of whooping cough, a childhood illness between 1940 to 19, uh, 1990 in Britain. Junaid is saying that First of all, I'll reach, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll reach out for the comment of uh, uh, Akbar. And Akbar is saying that the graph illustrates the impact of vaccination. Uh, uh, okay, uh, okay, vaccination facilitating, I think so, of a childhood caught disease between... No, whooping cough is missing because you need to add whooping cough in here. Whooping cough is the main noun. Vaccination is a main noun. You can't change that. Okay, Janet is saying the graph illustrates the effect of vaccination on the unfortunates of childhood. No, no, no. Abdul is saying the graph illustrates the effects of vaccinations on the events of whooping cough. Uh, that is, you know, then then choose the word that is a childhood sickness between uh between uh 1940 to 1990. I'm very bad at math, but that makes around. 40. Oh my god, I'm so bad at that makes like 50 years, not 50, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, yes, I think so, 5 years, 5 decades, I think so, you can use the word 5 decades for this as well, during the 5 decades, 5 decades, 5 particular decades, right, decades is like 10 years and I have heard a pronunciation that is uh, decades, right? But that's decades. Honey is saying the graph unravels the effects of, uh, effects of, effects of, effects, Ali. Uh, honey, put the word effects in there. Uh, vaccination on the on the occurrence of whooping cough, a, um, um, a, 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 a congenital sickness for... 50 years I don't really go for that word you know childhood just keep it that way you know childhood is the main noun in here you can go for the synonyms of illness that could be ailment a i l m e n t right um okay so Safir is saying 50 minutes all right the graph uh, the graph presents the effects of effects put an s there Myra effects of vaccination on the occurrence of a uh, whooping cough uh, that is a child that is an illness in children you can also talk about it, it that is 
an illness in children between uh, or that was an illness because of course we're talking about the past so um uh, okay so um okay and Myra and Safir are exchanging some love right now Okay, Gur Gurjand is saying that uh, the graph uh, displays the collision of, uh, collision of, okay, fine. No, I, I would not approve of the word collision. Uh, vaccination on the episode of whooping cough of a offspring disorder between 1990 and 19, 15, 1995. All right, great, great. Okay, cool. So it's been 50 minutes. I'm... Uh, I'm live and all those people who have stayed with me please subscribe to my youtube channel if you have not subscribed by far and it if you are a new uh you know viewer please please subscribe to my youtube channel i have mentioned the link in the description box and um uh the impact of injections is illustrated for the children whooping cough disease no 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 okay we can choose the synonym in here you can choose the word you know effect in here all right and the vaccinations sorry of the vaccinations on the on the incidence right or the event or uh, event of a uh, whooping cough or um, whooping cough a childhood ailment in Britain during the span of five decades right right you got me and uh, I'm just gonna leave now and uh, we have to okay Shiroz is saying the graph gives information about the effects of vaccination uh, uh vaccinations uh the incidence of whooping cough uh toddler illness no toddlers tod no we are not sure about the age so you cannot use the word children you sorry you cannot change the word children no during the five decades in great britain not that uh, um okay so uh, this is it for today and I will see you guys tomorrow. But of course, if you guys are watching me right now, let's play kiss or slap. Who's ready to play kiss or slap? Kiss or slap. Okay, so it's a game, right? I'm just asking you, would you kiss or slap? Would you kiss or slap me? Type in the comment section for me. Kiss or slap, right? Kiss or slap. And then, of course, I'm going to go. We're going to play today kiss or slap. Kiss or slap. Kiss would be just like a peck, right? A small peck. And then slap would be like... So play it with me. Kiss or slap. Please type it. Kiss. Kine is saying kiss. Akbar is saying kiss. Alright. And uh, Myra... Okay. Uh, Gurjant is saying kiss, kiss, kiss. Oh, kisses to you guys as well. Okay. Uh, Shahad, I'm sorry. I'm, we are playing kiss or slap right now. Okay, kiss. No, Shar is saying kiss uh definitely kiss leo is saying kiss as well abdul is saying kiss and um kisses of course no slaps anyone with the slap <laughs> there might be somebody in there watching me who would want prakash is saying slap okay honey is saying of course i will go with a peck oh you learned that word that's a small peck you know janet is saying kiss 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 of course kisses to you guys as well and she was saying kiss of course and your emojis are extremely extremely cute so um i hope you guys had fun today and you learned something and there's a lot more to learn and practice these sentences that i have you know taught you today try to try to rewrite them try to re-listen and try to get better muhammad is saying slap all right that's not bad at all Liam is saying slap 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 okay slap might be painful uh okay caress who's this person caress okay not bad at all okay so i'm just gonna leave i will see you guys later you guys are amazing fazan is giving me kisses as well and lots and lots of love for you guys i come live every single day and all those people who have missed on this live they can watch it again and they can 
uh, you know, subscribe to my YouTube channel too. That is Lavi School of Language. And I come live every single day to help you out during this stupid pandemic where, where we have nothing else to do. But we can do whatever we can for the other person to feel better or, or to do something good for them or share whatever we have. So this is the only, only reason. Uh, the graph depicts, uh, Osama is saying the graph depicts the impression of vaccination on the event of um, uh, whooping cough uh, pandemic, uh, uh, sorry, pa pediatric, pa hey, that's a good word, Osama, pediatric, pa pedri pediatric, sorry, pediatric illness in uh, between 1942-1990 to in britain not bad at all not bad at all slap and the slap and then oh my god this is getting messy i'm gonna go see you guys later ciao